G'day, Josh with another episode of Don't Mind the Grind. Today, we're gonna to have a quick look at the Embiid campaign, which has been updated if you haven't already noticed. You now just need five completed sets. Uh, I think it was this one here. Oh, we can't actually see it once I've gone through it, but it was just five completed sets. So what I did is I just went into the NBA Today set tab and just did this silver trading set five times. Uh, in fact, I've also been using this set to do my daily objectives while there isn't a program on, so there's not too many sets to complete this one, and also the trade-up sets, the silver and bronze players. So I did five sets, had Embiid on my starting lineup. I think for some people, they might have also had to restart the app, and then you can jump in and you can play that particular live event. The next one was for having an 80 overall lineup, so I've actually managed to train up my Joel Embiid to 81 overall now. Here's a look at his stats. Uh, if we go back here, pretty solid all-around primary stats, including an 81 rebounding, and then his secondary stats here. It's quite fast for a center at 75. 78 three-point shot, which is quite nice. 81 inside paint shot, and the rebounding at 80 and 81 is fantastic as well. On-ball defense is also quite good with 81 there. I've been having a ton of fun with him on my starting five, that's for sure. Recently also subbed out my balance coach for a defensive coach. I uh, haven't got enough sort of game time in with that to see if it's made a significant improvement, that change in gameplay styles, but I'm certainly... Uh, sort of experimenting with that to see if there is a notable difference with the gameplay styles. It wasn't anything that I was able to pick up on earlier on in the season, but at that stage, everyone was using gold players. So maybe now with elite players, it'll be a little bit more interesting to see what happens. Now, I do have a few pro packs to rip through this episode, so let's jump in there and see if we can pull ourselves an elite. That would be awesome. Haven't done a pro pack opening in a little while. We start off with Damari Carroll in that one. Who are we going to get in this second pack? Any gold that's a 75 or higher is an absolute win, and obviously an elite is fire. Jeremy Grant in that one. So a couple of reasonable golds, nothing crazy yet though. I think I've got about 11 or 12 packs all up. We get Zach Collins in that one, but nine packs left. So the odds, are, I think it's like one elite in every 33 based on the 3% likelihood of pulling in elites. So we get a 74 overall Alfred Aminu in that one. That's our best pull yet. The odds are not in our favor in terms of pulling an elite, but who knows? We might be able to clutch one out. That would always be nice. 73 Nene right there. We've got seven left. Can we see that red paint? Little flash of red as I reveal these cards. Marvin Bagley the third in that one. Who's excited to see him start the regular season this year? He's, he's going to be one of those rookies that's exciting to watch for sure. We get ourselves a 74 overall Jeremy Lamb. Come on. Come on, red paint. All right, this one we get. Oh, it's not going to be, but we do get a Rockets gold there. Marcus Morris, 71 overall from the Road to MVP campaign. It is fantastic. You can pull program cards in Pro Packs this season. I really, really enjoy that. There we go. Dirk Nowitzki in his swan song uh, swan song season, his career-ending season almost certainly. Uh, and then we get Daniel Tice, 72 overall, so nothing crazy yet. 74 has been our highest. Two packs left. Can we get something cool? Not here. Nerland's Noel, 71 overall. So we're down to our final pack. Can we get that elusive elite in their final pro pack today? We get, no, we get another Dirk though. Dirk is an absolute goat, so I'm not too disappointed with that. Kind of like pulling Manu from packs. It's hard to be disappointed when you pull one of those legends of the game. Now I am gonna go in, I've got some stamina to spend today. So I'm gonna go in and jump into this Thunder Rolls and play my Fast Break Blitz. Because it's just, for 20 stamina, you get 1,200 coins for the first win. And then you pull a whole bunch of tokens you can sell for 50 coins each as well. You're guaranteed just to pull a minimum of 10, but you can actually pull more. So for 20 stamina, you're getting minimum of 1,700 coins, possibly more. Let's see if we can pull more than five. Here we go. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tokens in that one. You can pull even more than 10 if you're lucky. And this one we get three, four, five, six, seven. So we get ourselves 
20 tokens all up there, which is awesome. So now if we go to auctions, 20 tokens sell for a K. So we've actually earned 2.2K coins for 20 stamina on top of the first win bonus. So that is awesome. That's why I've been grinding, or that's why I do this event for the first win every time. Quick sell those for a thousand coins. It's such an efficient way if you did pay to unlock that fast break blitz. It's also worth doing, if, especially if you've got stamina to spare, it's also worth doing this one over here. If you've unlocked it, it's also worth 1,200 coins for the first win. And same deal goes for these. These guys are once again worth 1,200 coins for the first win. It's just that they are 40 stamina as opposed to 20 stamina. So I'll usually drop that 20 stamina on the Thunder Rolls Fast Break Blitz event. I've also, if we go back to NBA today, I'm also going to grind out a few more of these Clay Thompson events. Uh, I'll show you guys where I'm at in terms of the set requirements for each of the next gen players. Getting very close to getting Clay. We're just waiting on elites at this stage. I'm still, as of yet, to pull an elite outside of a first win pack, but I have definitely seen some screenshots you guys have shared with me. Some of you have been lucky enough to pull elites in just part of the grind. Just going through this event over and over, you've snagged yourselves an elite token, which is awesome. So I'm gonna run through this. This is a particularly grindable one because you're just chucking down dunks, which are basically impossible to miss. So it's really easy to grind this particular event. So I always try and save my stamina up for one of the more grindable ones and then use all my stamina for this. We'll do it one more time and then I'll jump across the sets and show you guys exactly my progress. I cannot wait to get Clay. I think he has an 84 three-point rating, is that right? We'll go in and have a look. Uh, if he's got an 84, I think that'll be my best rated three-point shooter. And I love Clay Thompson as a player as well. All right, so let's hit continue here. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get any golds. I still need a few extra golds. Fingers crossed we can pull one. We get ourselves, there we go, we get a gold there. We, I think we got two more to open, so if we can get another gold, that will be unreal. Making up for our lack of elite pro pack luck by pulling a gold, maybe two. Can we get another gold here? Can we get, no, just a silver. All right, so let's go to the sets now. Uh, you can see here, so this is Clay. I'm just waiting on seven more elite tokens. So not far from him at all. And if we check his three point, it is 84 three point rating. So I'm pretty sure that's the highest. I will check my team before we wind down this video. Uh, I need, what's that, 11 more gold tokens for Drummond and then obviously the elite tokens and just the elite tokens for Yana. So I'm getting very close to these guys. Now, if we jump back into my team, uh, this Harden has a 79 three-point shot and my Tracy McGrady is also around that mark, I believe, 77 three-point shot. So that Clay Thompson will be a big step up in terms of three-point shooting. I think my next best is Kawhi, yeah, 81. So Kawhi's my best in terms of just the three-point shooting stat, but upgrading that, putting Clay into that starting position will be fantastic. He's obviously got that nice height as well. So this is what the lineup's looking like at the moment. 81 overall. Obviously, I still need to upgrade my bench power forward. Uh, I don't have heaps of defensive players matching up with my coach, but that doesn't bother me too much. It just means I'm not getting the maximum skill boost. So I'm only getting plus two scoring with contact instead of plus four, but I don't actually try and score with contact that often anyway, so I'm not too hassled by that. But once I've got enough data to report on whether the defensive coach makes a significant difference over the balance coach, I will definitely let you guys know. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this sort of content and you don't want to miss out on any in the future, make sure that you've hit that sub button.